They were considering stopping rescue operations at night off the Grand Strand Coast because of the, the volume of these green laser hits and the danger it presented to their pilots. That's Public Safety Director Paul Witten talking about the severity of the green laser problem this summer and how it affected the Coast Guard. He went on to say it's a present danger. The proposed ordinance would go further than the federal laws already on the books. It would limit the sale of green lasers to minors. If a business sells a laser to a minor, they'll face penalties. And when adults purchase lasers, they'll have to sign a waiver that spells out the rules. The key is that we need to take some action. Also up for discussion, additional staff for J. Ruben Long Detention Center. In February, the Sheriff's Office signed a contract with the U.S. Marshal Service to house inmates facing federal charges. The county receives just over $50 per day for each inmate, and Sheriff Thompson says they need two extra transportation deputies and two vans. Transport them to, to court. Usually it's in Florence, the biggest majority of the time, and they pay a per diem for the officers that go, which is the, uh, $15 and uh, $15.22 an hour for the deputy's time.